Hi, I'm Dr. Robbie George. I'm the Chief of Vascular and Endovascular Surgery at Naran Institute of Vascular Sciences. So today I'm going to talk to you about a condition called a cervical rib. So cervical refers to the neck and the rib is normally what we see in our chest. A cervical rib is an unusual condition where certain people have an extra bone coming from the neck which joins with the ribs. And this bone typically lies in the upper part of the neck. And the upper part of the neck is a very tight and narrow space through which all the blood vessels and the nerves come from within the chest and go down to your hands. And those people who have this extra bone in this area, this opening through which all the blood vessels and nerves come through gets even more narrowed. And over time, what can happen is that the blood vessel can get damaged by getting repeatedly crushed against the bone or the nerves can get irritated, causing a lot of pain and discomfort in the shoulder and the hands. Rarely, this can cause so much damage that the blood vessel gets completely ballooned out and then gets filled up with a clot. And then the patient's hand becomes what we call ischemic. That is, the blood supply to the hand gets cut off. These are complications that can land up with amputations and major problems like that. Fortunately, not all cervical ribs cause these kind of problems. And fortunately, we have solutions for them. If you have evidence on testing that there is damage to your blood vessels that is in an early stage or in an advanced stage, you definitely require a surgical procedure to remove this extra rib and to repair your blood vessel to prevent a major emergency catastrophe. If, on the other hand, there is no damage to the arteries or the veins, which are the blood vessels, and there is only irritation to the nerves, oftentimes good quality physiotherapy and exercise can get you out of trouble and keep things under control. But a cervical rib is a cause that should be considered when you get features of pain and discomfort in your hands, or when it is picked up on an x-ray, it is definitely worth consulting a physician to know how is the best way to treat this. Thank you.